on the question of transparency, as you mentioned, mm -hmm. uh, there is an argument by a lot of companies that develop AIs that uh, if we make our code open source and allow everyone to have access to it, uh, we m might lose our competitive edge because we mm. have taken a lot of time to develop these. At mm. the very same time, a very large problem that we have in AI is biases and different types of uh, issues in terms of AI being racist or sexist mm. and these type mm. of issues. Yeah. To what degree have you s try, do you try to study those when you try to apply these to different organizations? And at the very same time, what ca if there are no regulations as they are not necessarily extremely clear at the moment mm. about these type mm. of issues. Yeah. I, I think, yeah, there, there's been quite a lot of trial and error, I guess, in, in the beginning. And, and biases have, of course, occurred. I mean, for example, we studied what, that's not my research area, but HR, human relations sort of uh, management issues. And where AI was actually started begin they began to use it quite early in the HR functions and and there you you very early came across sort of hor horrible uh, examples of, of biases in, in AI algorithms so uh, so there you can say this is this is probably some kind of learning curve here uh, and, and it will always uh, but I think the more the more we sort of lift that topic to the surface I think it's the more we also going to be able to catch up because uh, and as with as you say with regulations and uh, and so on they are al always lagging behind and that, uh, that's maybe the nature of it we, it's very difficult to be uh, predictive of what, what's going to happen with the technology and technology use etc so uh, my guess is that, uh, and maybe that's a good thing with democracy, that uh, reg regulations, we need to take time to, to, to sort of um, fix these regulations. That's part of our sort of dem <coughs> democracy processes. But I think mm, the more we also use AI, the, 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 the more in-depth knowledge we will probably have about potential consequences and be aware of it earlier in the process, I think. Uh, I apologize that I'm taking this a bit further from our uh, core uh, <laughs> subject of our conversation, yeah. but when it comes to regulation, especially from the aspect of economic growth, uh, the EU has been at the very same time uh, praised and criticized for mm. the being perhaps at the forefront of the regulation part. Mm. Because many have argued that simply because they've regulated the field to such degree that compared to many other countries, uh, many companies are not necessarily too interested in developing their AIs in uh, the EU or even selling those uh, technologies okay. in uh, the EU. Uh, uh, well, I, that's that's nothing that I've heard actually, not not from the uh, company contacts that we have had, but that that uh, might be so. But I mean, maybe also this part of the the um, uh, how shall I say uh, the the discussions and the negotiations uh, that uh, you hear such yeah. ideas, yeah. Technique for convincing them to uh, yes, uh, not exactly. be too heavy yeah. on the regulation. Yeah, exactly. It's part of the rhetoric, maybe, I don't know. But uh, I think we need regulations, and that, that, that's part of it. But um, uh, I, I, I haven't heard in any companies that are sort of thinking about withdrawing from Europe because of these regulations. That's, that's nothing that I've heard.